Hello everyone, welcome back to Royalty Soaps and a brand new soap collection. This one is called Night at the Skadium. It is inspired by like 1980s, 1990s roller rinks. There's a lot of really fun colors. It's a really, really, really cohesive feed. I'll go ahead and show you my Pinterest board for this collection right now. It has some vaporwave elements. There's a lot of lunar elements. We have some really really, really rich purples and blues, a lot of galactic things. I specifically was envisioning like all of the lights shining down on a roller rink and the carpet that always had those fun shapes on them. And because this is the first video, yes, this shirt that I am wearing is linked down in the description box below, as are these nails. They are so beautiful. I'm obsessed. These are just press on nails. They're from MSK Nails. You can check out her Etsy shop down below and use the coupon code on screen for a little bit of money off your first order. As a disclaimer, I did pay for this shirt, um, but these nails were gifted to me. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoy this first video. This is one of my favorite soaps, if not my favorite soap of the whole month. Blue Raspberry is just such an essential flavor from anyone that was born in the 90s. And I just think that it has such a nostalgic feeling to it. Shelly and I worked so hard to get the embed color on these right and it is giving like major blue raspberry icy vibes. So without further ado, let us make the first soap in the Night at the Skadium collection. Okay guys, we will begin per usual by pouring our lye water solution into our oils. The recipe I'm using today can be found in the description box below, but if you've never made soap before, don't worry, I still have you covered with something a little bit easier. You can look for my YouTube playlist, The Royal Creative Academy, and I'll show you how to make soap step by step, both inexpensively, but also beautifully. Gonna mix this up using my stick blender. Now, now I have a lot of different stick blenders that I've used and I really like, but this one at the time of purchase was only $25 on Amazon, which is on the lower end of stick blender costs. And I've had it for about, oh, I'd say a year and a half now, and it's still going strong. Okay, so now that everything is all mixed up, I'm gonna pour off some of my accents. Now, for the red and the white, we're going to do a smaller amount, and then we're going to mix up the two blues together. So we'll do a little bit more of the blues. This, I have to admit, is the soap I am most excited about making this month. Okay, I have my three accent colors poured off, and then of course I have my base color. So for the base, we are adding Shocker Blue and Key West Blue. Also, someone said they missed seeing me use my mini scrapey scrapey spatula that one of the members of the Royal Court sent me. I saw that comment last month and it made me feel bad. So here I am scraping out the containers. Just because I don't keep every single part of soap making in a video doesn't mean I'm not doing Doing it, I promise. Now into this container that has the most as far as accent colors go, I'm adding some titanium dioxide and then I'm also going to add some more Key West blue. So this is going to be kind of a light blue color in the same um, color family, color shade. And then into these containers we're adding our white and our Trial by Fire, which is such a wonderful red color. And now for the creme de la creme. I know this looks a little bit blue, but it's honestly just because I mixed it up with my mini blender that I had already mixed blue up with. It doesn't look blue. This is my special blue raspberry slushy blend. It is 50% black raspberry vanilla from Nature's Garden and 50% blue raspberry slushy. I think the black raspberry vanilla really helps this take on a more dessert and a more 
berry fragrance. And then of course the blue raspberry slushy is just really icy. It has a little bit of that berry cherry smell in it. Also in my past experience, blue raspberry slushy from Nature's Garden on its own can curdle your batch. So cutting it with a little bit of black raspberry vanilla serves a practical purpose as well as a fragrance purpose. And by the way, if you wanna see me post more fragrance recipes like that are visual so that you can just take a screenshot and go, let me know because that's really something that would be so easy for us to incorporate into our Instagram feed. All right, so we have the fragrance in. And by the way, another reason to add black raspberry vanilla for practical purposes is that it slows down your batch speed. So it gives you longer working time so you can get more complicated swirls. This is truly such a beautiful color palette. I am obsessed. So I'll start by just pouring this light blue color into our darker blue color. And I am going to scrape out my container because I'm not going to be returning back to it. This should be blended all the way through my batch. All right, and now we can start pouring into our two Brambleberry molds. And now for the sponsor of today's video, Two Dots, the mobile game. Now you guys probably know I don't do many mobile game ads because not many are applicable to me personally but there are a choice few that Caleb and I really have enjoyed playing. So when Two Dots reached out, I was like, this is a seamless integration. He's on like an insane level. I don't even know because he's so much better at it than I am, but it is super fun. Two Dots is a puzzle game. It is free to play and it is loved by millions of people. When you play the game, you travel through like gorgeous worlds, collect beautiful collectibles, and uncover fun new mechanics along the way. There are weekly events like the scavenger hunt where you have to find items on a map, like where's Wally and the treasure hunt. You complete seven special levels to unlock unique rewards. You solve challenging puzzles by connecting the dots and more. So if you're looking for a fun free game that will challenge your brain, go download the Two Dots game in the Apple Store free today. So click the link in the description box to download the game once again for free today. Challenge your brain, have a lot of fun, and look at some beautiful visuals. Thank you Two Dots for sponsoring today's video and without further ado, let us continue our crafting journey. I keep coming back to these Brambleberry molds. I've bought so many of them throughout the years and they're just wonderful. They're like the perfect size for your hand. They're so durable. Again, I keep coming back and keep buying more for a reason. They're just the best. I always have them linked in the description box down below because it's one of my like ride or die products that I've been using for years and that I absolutely swear by. So I just did a drop of red and now I'm going to break the fall of this white and kind of layer it onto one side. Now why am I doing this? It's really just to break up the swirl a little bit and give some interest to these bars. In fact, I think I'll go ahead and add the rest of this white to this one layer because I think it'll look good. Now I'm going to add a little bit more of this blue and I am going to break it into that white just a little bit. It, like one stripe, one stripe into the white, breaking through, and then I'm going to use my spatula to kind of ladle it in just a little bit. Then I'm going to pour from up high another drop of that red, and it is breaking through that blue really, really good. Like it's going in there, which is what I want. I don't want it sitting up on top. And now I'm going to pour this from up high and drop swirl it into my mold. Scrapey, scrapey, my big containy. Awesome! Ah, uh, again, smells so good. Let me zoom you out just a little so you can kind of get the, the full picture. Okay, I know right now it may kind of be giving like 
Shark Week vibes. <laughs> I think that's gonna go away once we cut it and you can see the white on the inside. For the frosting today, I'm going to use the Atico 826 tip, which is very similar to the Wilton 1M tip. I thought this kind of gave a really good representation of ice cream. And since this is kind of inspired by bomb pops, I felt like that was fitting. I don't know all the places that bomb pops are available, but in the summertime, they are one of my favorite, like, indulge type of treats. I don't know why. I think they have them all year round, but they just feel like a summertime classic. Here in America, as a kid growing up, I remember them always being around for 4th of July, and I'm sure it's because the colors match. Man, oh man, have I been having such a productive summer. I've been doing a lot of things for royalty so but I've also been doing some things that I've really missed. Once I had kids, I found that it was a lot harder to just do things that I enjoyed. And I, I tell you what, I'm a night owl by nature. I really like staying up at night, but I have just recently found within the last three or four weeks that it just was wearing me out and my body couldn't handle it anymore. So I started going to bed a little bit earlier and it took a while to get used to, but then I started getting up earlier and and see, that means I have like an hour and a half uninterrupted in the mornings. And let me tell you, it has really been a game changer. Starting my day off right just has made the world of difference. I, I try not to live with any regrets, but part of me does wish that I had started this a long time ago. To make sure that I get the little middle ploop exactly straight, I'm gonna turn these this away. But yeah, I also bought an infinity hoop. Um, it's just like a weighted hula hoop kind of, um, just to help me sort of get a little bit of exercise in every day. Here in Texas, it's over a hundred degrees degrees sometimes in the summertime, which makes it just really difficult for me to get motivated to go outside. And my nearest gym is 25 minutes away one way. And I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, I tried to do the gym thing and I went two or three times a week, but I just didn't like the atmosphere. I don't know. I, it just wasn't for me. No offense, of course, to anybody who does enjoy going. It just, it just wasn't my cup of tea. I would much prefer to do like a Pilates workout um, at home. <laughs> front of my TV. Y'all look at these truly luscious embeds. They blend like right into my, <laughs> right into my gloves. We're going to put three embeds on every bar. So it is embed heavy, but I just knew that it needed it. I prefer like low impact kind of stretchy type workouts. So I saw those weighted hula hoop thingies on TikTok and a lot of girls were saying that they really enjoyed them. So I got one and it has been really fun. I just like watch a YouTube video or a TV show for 30 minutes and I just hoop the whole time. And let me tell you, I was surprised at how good a workout that is. Like I am really sweaty by the end of it. I'm always trying to make sure that I drink enough water because it just, it really works you out. Caroline and I also did a beginner Pilates video the other day when she spent the night because that's what she's been doing at home. And man, I was so surprised by how sore my abs were the next day. Like that was a killer workout too. Now what we're going to do, I think that's really going to set this soap apart is take a little bit of melt and pour soap and then a little bit of tomato red concentrate. This is from TKB Training. I'm going to put some of that in here once it's melted and then we're going to do a red cherry drizzle on top. All right, here's the drizzle with the tomato red concentrate in it and it looks really good, but it's still a little bit hot. I'll show you why I wait to put a drizzle on until it's cooled down a bit. So here it is if I put it on right now. So you can see how much it moves on the soap. It doesn't stick very well. It just kind of uh, disperses really fast and we don't want that. While this is cooling off for a second, I'll show you the glitter we're using today. Look how fun. This is called Stars and Stripes. It's from The Good Glitter. If you've never purchased from The Good Glitter before, they are a biodegradable eco-friendly glitter company. I absolutely love them. Their glitter blends are just supreme. And actually, this glitter breaks down 
like in the wastewater. It's made out of plant cellulose. It's just such a cool feat of science, in my opinion. It's still a little warm, but it's thickened up enough, I think. So I'm just gonna drizzle across the top. Yeah, it's holding in place pretty good. The other thing that I do is take some rubbing alcohol because sometimes as you do this, you'll create air bubbles on the top, like little bubbles of melt and pour. Um, so I just pop those real quick. Yep, see like right here and spritz and it's gone. This looks like a snow cone. It looks so delicious. I like going on a diagonal for this type of thing because I feel like it gets more of the bar. That's just a personal preference. You obviously could put this on your soap however you like. Okay, the drizzle is on and looking fabulous. So now I'm just going to put that glitter across the top. I am gonna drop it onto the blue raspberry embeds. I'm basically gonna drop it everywhere. And then I'm gonna take just a teeny bit of hollow eco-friendly glitter, and I do mean just a little, about this much per loaf and just put that on top, you know, throw in some rainbows on there just for fun. I'm gonna spritz this with rubbing alcohol and then we are done with our blue raspberry slushy soaps. Ooh yeah, so beautimous. Man, I cannot wait to cut these. They have made my room smell so good. I know they're just gonna smell even better tomorrow. So we will wait 18 to 24 hours and then we will come and we will cut cut up these loaves into bars after this quick commercial break. You guys, look at this soap. I couldn't be more pleased and it smells so good. It is a little bit slippery, so I'm gonna have to be very careful when I cut this. Okay, gonna press down gently. Ugh, those blues are speaking to me. Pull one out from the middle. <gasps> this is what it looks like on the inside. Absolutely, yes. We're cheering, we're screaming. This looks edible. <laughs> I have absolutely no complaints whatsoever. Look at the swirls in there. They're so unique. I'm really pleased with this pouring technique that we tried this time. Okay, y'all, question of the day. What is your favorite um, popsicle, or I guess if you're from uh, the UK or Europe, an ice lolly? <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite from your childhood that you could like buy in a box? I'm not talking about all those new bougie popsicle shops, you know, Caroline, oh, Steel so City sweet. Pops. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about you scamper on down to the supermarket, it's in a box and it slaps, okay? Bomb Pops are pretty great. Bluebell Ice Cream also had one that was like a rainbow pop and as you ate it down, like it, it just got better and better. Like the purple was the best flavor. And I think that was either at the bottom or at the top, I don't remember, but it was one of my absolute favorites and my grandparents always had them. So we would try not to eat more than one or two of them, but we would sneak them and our parents wouldn't know about it. So a peak moment in childhood history for me. You guys let me know down in the comments below. Man, this is a killer design. I'm thrilled to death. I can't even stop talking about it. <laughs> Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this first video in the collection. Be sure to check us out over at royaltysoaps.com. We have a lot of fun soapy goodies still in stock. Be sure you do something fun for yourself today, whether that is making a blue raspberry slushy at home. It's pretty hot outside where I live and that sounds really nice right now. Or maybe going to an older movie at a theater. There's a lot of theaters in Dallas, that's where I I live thereabouts and they will show like old Disney movies throughout the summer at night. I mean, so much fun. Wouldn't you love to relive the first time you went and saw Hercules? I know I would. In fact, that's the first movie I ever saw in theaters. My dad took me when, when did that come out? 1997? Yeah, 1997. Uh, my dad took me, I must have been three or four at the time and uh, that's what I remember was that slushy and and having just the best time. I didn't remember any of the movie, but you know, the snacks were great. 
Of course, you know, I don't care what you do. Just do something fun for yourself. And I cannot wait to see you in the next video. <gasps> it's a good one, I promise. And until then, bye for now.